Hello everybody, this is Tudor Lente for CommingSoon.net and today I have the pleasure to talk with Jurassic World Dominion Colin Trevorrow. Hello sir, how are you today? How are you doing, sir? I'm fine as well, thanks for asking. So the Jurassic World Dominion Extended Edition features 14 additional minutes of um, I've never seen before footage um, and a new exciting opening sequence. Um, was that the movie were you envisioning since the first time? Absolutely. I mean, this was actually the movie up until very late in the process, and uh, it, we realized that we had to streamline it uh, to get it down to under two and a half hours uh, to release theatrically. And so, you know, we were in a position where we had to figure out, you know, what could go. One of the biggest editorial challenges of my life, like what could, what could go, and, and yet we would still uh, be able to go on the, the journey and, and understand, you know, everybody's arc. And so we did the best we possibly could, and it was it was painful and, and challenging. And, and if you're a filmmaker. Uh, someday you may have to face the same thing, and um, honestly, it might be a cool thing to watch. You know, to see to see what uh, what what can go, uh, and what maybe you think should stay. Uh, one of the best scenes in the movie involves Owen being chased by some raptors in St George's Square. How did you come up with that sequence, and how is it for you, you now to see a, an extended version of it? Uh, you know, for me, it was it was knowing that we wanted to see dinosaurs in our world, you know, in a city interacting with people, and and I felt like, you know, yes, you can do it in New York or Chicago or you know a big city, but uh, I thought about the movie Ronan, uh, which which has this incredible car chase uh, in uh, Villefranche in, in France, yeah, and uh, the how the you know the tight trenches made you feel like you were going at a high speed, and a big part of dinosaur movies is the characters need to feel trapped. Uh, and so I feel like if you're on giant avenues, you can always find a way to get away. And I just wanted to create a scenario, uh, especially surrounded by uh, stones that look very old to us, but are, are actually very new compared to dinosaurs. Um, it has been said that the Jurassic era is over, but still, according at least to me, Jurassic World Dominion opens a new and unlimited scenario. Do you see any new uh, storylines that might be worth taking to the big screen? You know, I, I actually would like to hand that job off to somebody else, and, and I would love to be here to, to help them and, you know, to, to make sure that they have all the resources they need, but in the same way that, that I looked at the Jurassic Park trilogy and was able to go to Steven Spielberg and say, listen, I, I got an idea, <laughs> like, what do you think of this? Uh, I would hope somebody would look at the world we've created, which I think creates a totally new set of opportunities. You know, now we aren't telling movies with plots about dinosaurs. Now we can tell movies uh, with stories about people who exist in a world in which there are dinosaurs. And I think that's a really key distinction. And for me, that was the most important thing that I wanted to do to transition us out of, we're going to an island, there's dinosaurs on the island, they're probably gonna eat you, into let's care about characters who are, are dealing with a world that is, is in turmoil and a dynamic. And uh, was it a dream of yours, you know, to see dinosaurs? And since you use a lot of practical effects, you know, so let's say like this, real dinosaurs yeah. into our world, Yes, absolutely, and I feel like, you know, if, if it's something that people wanted to see, I just wanted to give people a taste of every, of every, of what that could mean in every way, and, you know, especially in, in the final, in the finished film, uh, the, you know, the extended edition now, you see dinosaur hunters and poachers, uh, yes. and you see a dinosaur, you know, at a drive-in movie theater, you see them six, five million years ago. Uh, there were so many things I wanted to see, and, and I, I, I'm really proud of how they're woven into that film. It, it feels very complete to me. The Giganotosaurus was really uh, amazing. Uh, do you feel that actors perhaps uh, reacted even better, you know, having that huge, massive uh, dinosaur head in front of there? I know they do. I know they do. And uh, they'll tell me that, that just having uh, something tactile, something they can reach out and interact with. Uh, makes them, uh, you know, they're actors, they could do it otherwise, but uh, <laughs> I, I love having something really there. Uh, it was, you know, such a great idea uh, to me to, to use practical effects and animatronics. Uh, I'm guessing you're a big fan of, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> of them. Um, what's your favorite uh, dinosaur? My favorite dinosaur that we made as an animatronic? Yeah. Um, God, we had so many, uh, there were so many working all at once, but um, there's a lot of little subtle ones that you only see for a moment. There was a guy who had a uh, uh, Dimorphodon on his arm uh, that has like a little patch the way they like blind eagles so they don't fly away. <laughs> There's a, a Baryonyx, that, that, the one that bites Delacorte's head off, that has like a, a metal and iron prosthetic arm that he lost in another fight. 
So there's a lot of details that we throw in there that I think, uh, which I actually got to have it in my house, the prosthetic arts, <laughs> one thing I took from this movie. Uh, but I, I love the little details. And what's about your favorite part of this extended edition? Ooh. Um, I, I, the opening sequence uh, in the Cretaceous era is, I, to me, that is one of my favorite things that I've ever been involved in. Right? To be able to to actually realize uh, dinosaurs in our world shot practically in a real location. It's not you know, a bunch of uh, CGI environments. Uh, and the work that ILM did there, I think, is absolutely extraordinary. Um, it's one of the things I wish more than anything that that was in the film, uh, you know, so the Academy could see it, <laughs> because, my God, it was unbelievable. Um, but yeah, I would, I would say the opening. Sir, it was such a pleasure for me. Thank you very much. Thank you for giving us Jurassic World Dominion and the extended edition, and hopefully I will be talking again with you soon. All right. Thanks so much.